announced at E3 2013 that three new characters would be introduced in Super Smash Bros. 4. Mega Man, Animal Crossing Villager, and Wii Fit Trainer. Mega Man is cool, but I personally think that there are a lot of other Nintendo characters who should have been included as well. Hello, this is Pythter, and today I'll be reviewing the top 10 characters that need to be in Super Smash Bros. 5. Number 10. Raichu. We have Pikachu, we have Pichu, so why not have Raichu? Personally, if Raichu makes it into Super Smash Bros. 5, I think he should have a different moveset than Pikachu's. I mean, wouldn't it be kind of lame to have three fighters who have the exact same attacks? Except hopefully Raichu wouldn't do damage to itself. Number 9. Pac-Man. It would probably be very hard to find a moveset for this guy, but Nintendo could pull it off. Personally, I think that they should go with the 3D version of the design from Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures. There isn't much else to say about him, but personally, I think that the video game character who revolutionized the industry deserves a spot in the fifth game. Number 8. Bomberman. Although he's certainly not the most well-known video game character, it would definitely be fun to play as him. Just imagine what it would be like. You could throw bombs, and throw some more bombs. More bombs. Yeah, I think I just remembered why Bomberman is no only number 8 on this list. It still worked though, I think. Number 7. Me. Not me, me. That makes sense, right? I'm still surprised they haven't been used in past installments, even though they're like the Wii's mascot or whatever. You could design your own character to fight, then you could give it boxing gloves or something. Even better would be if you could choose your Mii's moveset in Final Smash Attack. That would be awesome. I think. Yeah. Number 6. Crash Bandicoot. I know, I know, his last installments didn't exactly win player's choice, but he could still be fun to play as. The only Crash game I can remember is Crash of the Titans. The setting and enemies were pretty stupid, but I can't remember the gameplay was pretty fun. If Nintendo did some research, it might not be too hard to find a moveset for Crash. Number 5. Rayman. Personally, I haven't played much of the Rayman series either, but according to many, it's a great 2D platformer. I don't know what he would look like in 3D, or if they would just make him 2D like Mr. Game Watch. Honestly, I don't really know how it would work, but it would just be cool. Also, with the upcoming release of Rayman Legends, Nintendo could make some serious money by putting him in Super Smash Bros. 5. Number 4. Charizard. Yeah, I know. We have the Pokemon trainer who can bring out the Orange Dragon, but Charizard is by far one of the most popular Pokemon ever. It's, it definitely wouldn't be hard to find his moveset, and you wouldn't accidentally switch to Squirtle this way. Plus, you have to admit, it looks pretty epic. Number 3. I've never ha played Halo in my life, and Microsoft would never agree to this, but Master Chief and Super Smash Bros. would be just plain epic. I mean, you've got the guns, and the laser sword, and the guns. Yeah, I don't know anything about Halo, except that Master Chief needs to be in Super Smash Bros. 5. Number 2. Skylanders Giants, yay! I can't wait to beat up Chaos with Spyro and his specialized moveset. Yay! So yeah, if you haven't guessed, number two on the list is Spyro from Skylanders Giants. It would be easy to convert his moveset from the game into Smash Brothers. You've got the fireball, got the head bash thingy, flying head bash thingy, there's something else that I can't remember. 
I still want to beat up Pichu with Spyro, though. Number one. I am so biased. Anyone who's seen more than one of my videos will know that I love Paper Mario. So naturally, number one is Paper Mario. I mean, come on. They have Toon Link, which is more or less the exact same thing as regular Link. So why not Paper Mario? However, this could be a lot better if Nintendo did it right. Since Paper Mario is very different from 3D Mario, they could give him his own exclusive moves like Hammer Throw and Power Jump. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. And if you know of a video game character who you think should have been on the list, make sure to post a comment below. Hey, like my videos and want to make sure you can watch all of them? Well, there's a little red button here that might be able to help you with that. Wait a second. I can't subscribe to myself? No! Eh, what the heck. Just be one of the cool dudes. Yeah. There's 13 of them. They're cool. Yay.